Hi, I'm author Amy Shannon. Um, on March 21st, 2024, I am releasing my book, Falls Town. A community of history, friends, neighbors, and lingering spirits. It is a um, nonfiction historical book about the creation of what was Falls Town, and it eventually became two towns, the town of Milton and the town of Falston. The, um, what is still here is the history and some of the, and a lot of the areas. And if you drive around, you will no doubt find several um, landmarkers um, identifying certain areas. Some you may not even know who um, who they were or who they are um, and what their uh, purpose was. In my story, um, I bring up the good and the bad of history. Um, there are times when I found conflicting information and if I had that information and it was conflicting, I would make a note of that. Um, and sometimes I was able to correct misinformation from maybe books or publications or newspaper articles that were published way back when. Um, I did a lot of research. Um, I wanna thank the, uh, uh, the Saratoga County Historical Society um, especially the people at Brookside Museum who answered all my questions, um, and also um, other writers and authors that um, I found who had written articles about um, certain parts in Ballstown. I reached out to them, and they were kind enough to write back to me and give me some information or ex um, tell me what kind of things they have found. I have read so many different articles on the various activities and proprietors of Balsa's Bar. Um, and it's being released on March 21st because that is the incorporation of the village of Balsa's Spa. Um, and it would be its 217th anniversary on that date. Um, they, when they had a it's a centennial, and then they had a bicentennial um, celebrations, and those are also um, memorialized in the book. One thing that is, um, it's something that's close to me, is that um, I personally believe that there are presents. I don't know if they're spirits, ghosts, whatever. And I can sometimes feel that. So, and I'm not um, ashamed to share my belief in that. Um, and because I think whether their presence is here, whether they're, they've been gone a day, a month, a, a year, a hundred years, 200 years, I think that they still surround us, even if it's just our feelings, you know. Um, when I, uh, I went to the, um, oh geez, the cemetery, uh, the Briggs, excuse me, the Briggs Cemetery, um, and I visited several graves of prominent citizens, but it also made me interested into digging more, not literally, but digging more into the lives of those people. Um, some were heroes, some were you know, founders and pioneers and original settlers, and um, some just had, they were living normal lives, being, you know, claiming their land, working very hard on um, farms or whatever businesses they had. There were times um, when Balsam Spa was, um, a lot of wealthy men wanted to build 
hotels and inns and because of the mineral waters and um, some of the mineral water springs are no longer there um, and some they try to keep but eventually those veins of the water slipped away um, however we do have you know the old iron springs is still existing and there's other springs that still exist and then there was one um, spring that um, actually was a, a spring of, of fire because of the gases that were released from the spring. Um, and I find that they were pretty interesting and whoever did discover them, um, you know, had them named after them. Um, one of their interesting parts was the competition to see who could build the bigger and better inn or hotel, or even if it was just a rooming house. Um, there were a lot of homes that they opened up to, um, you know, people who wanted to come to this to the springs because they were miracle mineral water springs. And they, there are health benefits to those springs, and it um, really depends on where you get them because of the uh, chemical makeup um, of the springs and where they come from. We all know that we have Gordon Creek and Gordon Creek Elementary School is named after that. Thank you students for voting for that. And, but there was a lot more to um, James Gordon than just having, he found a creek on his land, um, having a school named after him. Um, but there are some things that uh, are very interesting about James Gordon and his family. Um, he married the daughter of uh, Reverend Eliphalet Ball. And I'm so, I always think I'm gonna mispronounce that name and I'm not sure even though I looked up the pronunciation for that name. So, um, but, my book is not just about the the history, it's about the people and what they did for each other, what they did against each other, um, the, their lives, their families. And it is amazing what you can find about a person through their obituary. And I know it probably sounds morbid, but I used a, a great site, um, well, find a grave. And um, I got a lot of information. And I was also able to provide them with information that I had found that they did not know. So I was able to update uh, that they had linking family trees and you know, sons and daughters and stuff like that. And they didn't always have everybody's spouse so children listed. And when I found them, I was able to back up what my information course um, and provide them with that type of information and I still get um, requests to to do that I am thinking um, I have it I have uh, some other things on my my plate right now but I still want to do some biological sketches because I find the females the wives behind the husbands were a lot of them were by their side, and a lot of the um, decisions that their husbands made were, were based off of ideas from their wives, so that I found that very interesting. Um, and on uh, March 23rd um, at one o'clock, I'm going to do an online um, virtual Q&A and reading of um, both with Ball's Town and also the book that I wrote that, that inspired me to continue my research, um, a paranormal book called The Forsaken. That I wrote was a short story. It was the first time I wrote a story that took place in Balsam's Spa and it's a ghost story and it's about family. And I did a lot of research um, because I wanted to, the main character is a historian, so I wanted to make sure that she had all the information that was correct. Um, 
as far as history and stuff like that. So that is um, something I was very, I was very proud that I could do that. Um, and after I wrote the book, I'm like, I just want to keep learning more. And I had stacks of papers and um, I learned how to find old books that have been out of print for 200 years. And I have digital copies of those books um, on my website as essenceenterprisesus.com. Um, and you can go to the uh, History of Falls Town and that would give you abilities to look at the old books. Um, you could uh, download them, you can view them. Um, they're there. Also photos um, and other images and information that are not in the book, but are, are related to the book and my research. So this has been Amy Shannon. I hope that you will come and uh, join me on my virtual um, Meet the Author um, on March 23rd. I am looking to um, nail down, a, I'm still trying to nail down a venue so I can do an in-person book signing and that information and details about that are coming forth. I'm just waiting for some confirmations. So uh, thank you. It's been Amy Shannon, still recovering from uh, my herb injuries, but um, I just wanted to share some information about my book. Thank you. Be well and be kind.